Hello, hello, hello. We are back again. And this time I am preparing a chicken soup. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I have diced up a white potato, a sweet potato, some mushrooms, bell pepper, red onion, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and some rotisserie chicken. We also have some minced garlic, some veggie broth, and then I have my spices, which is going to be Italian seasoning, ginger, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, cracked red pepper, cumin, turmeric, onion powder, and parsley. The broccoli and cauliflower, as well as the carrots, came in this medley bag. And for me, it was the perfect balance of vegetables and the perfect amount. You do it however you see fit. Let's get started. We're starting off by sauteing the potatoes, both the white potatoes and the sweet potatoes, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and about two teaspoons of butter. You wanna cook these for as, until you get the desired texture. That can vary from person to person. I like mine to have a little bit of a firmness to them when I start adding all the other ingredients because I do not want my potatoes to be mushy. As you can see, the potatoes have started to brown. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms, the onions, the bell pepper, and the carrots. We're not gonna add in the cauliflower and the broccoli just yet. Okay, and because of the fact that we don't want this to be a fat heavy dish, anytime we need to add a little lubrication to the pan or moisture to help with the cooking process, we're going to depend on our veggie broth. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in the cauliflower and the broccoli because of the fact that it doesn't take that long for these um, vegetables to cook. That's why we're adding them in on the tail end. I don't want my broccoli to be mushy. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and add in the minced garlic and our spices. And we'll put the chicken in last because the chicken is already cooked. Okay, so now my veggies are nice and al dente, but they're cooking through. I don't want them to be mushy, so we're gonna go ahead and add in the chicken. And again, we're gonna depend on our veggie broth to help with the moisture and the cooking process. One thing I wanna mention is that if you want to kick this dish, dish up a notch or just basically change the flavor, you can add a little curry and you can have this over some jasmine rice, coconut jasmine rice. Okay, so my last ingredient to add to this soup and also to top off the flavor profile, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some Sasson Complete Seasoning, put it on low and let it simmer on low for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then we're ready to And here we have it, Pièce de Résistance. This is the finished product. All my veggies are nicely cooked. They're not mushy. So let's plate it up. 